Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I wanted to give you a, a, a quick video, a demo on how to get the actual exam sheet if you have taken any Azure examinations or any Microsoft examinations. Uh, especially if you have taken it from Pearson View and that's what I'm going to use. So a lot of times we go and take the exam and it doesn't matter whether we pass or fail, uh, it will let you uh, print the exam output. It will have your score and everything. And it will tell you what are your strengths and maybe what are your weaknesses and you can use that to, you know, focus your study or just develop in those areas where you are weak. But uh, a lot of us didn't, don't know how to, how, to, how to get to that information uh, once we are done with the exam and maybe you have lost that paper. So all you need to do is really just uh, do and do a cool search for Microsoft Certification Exam and this result should be coming up at the very top but uh, the link that i just clicked on is the certification dashboard uh, aka.ms i'm just going to click on that one and that took me to this page where it's uh, asking me to log in so just use the email that you have used for uh, your certification and i have a github integration so i'm just going to go through uh, github login Uh, you may not have to do this uh, to this step, but once you are logged in, this one will bring you to the uh, dashboard. Okay, so what Microsoft call it, the learning dashboards. And I'm going to give you this particular link uh, to you in this video. So once you are in there, what do you see? Like it will, first of all, is telling me, hey, Basu, uh, congratulations on passing DP900. So it will tell you the last exam that you have passed, okay, and it will have some other uh, links, uh, buttons to go to schedule the next exam and stuff like that. Uh, it will tell you the next upcoming appointments if you have any exams, like I have uh, one exam that's coming up on February 27, that's TP200, and it's telling me, you know, it's, uh, it's already scheduled. Now, certificates you can get from here, you can go and click on view certificates and you can pretty much get uh, the certificate of all the exams you have taken from microsoft not only just azure like i have taken so many azure fundamental security engineer ad administrator solution architect all of the all of them i just uh, i can just click on it uh, i can do a preview of it or i can download my certificate uh, in a pdf format okay it sometimes take a little bit of time uh, it says pop up it Block, so just allow the pop-up uh, always allow pop-up and for this site and then let's do a preview again and but this certificate will not have this is the certificate that's telling yeah I'm a certified uh, as your data fundamental that's what I got uh, most recently but that's not what I'm looking for this is the certificate but I want to look and 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 uh, I want to learn how good how well I did in that exam Okay, so do that. Uh, you can actually download all of them together if you like, all the certificates, and you can uh, click on PDF. It will download all of them for you, uh, and you can save it, share it. Uh, it's a really nice, nice feature over here. But again, we are not looking for the certificates. We want to get to the actual score. So let's just go back. Uh, so the next thing that I want to look at badges is something that you can share these days it's become very popular sometimes you have errors in their pages but uh, don't worry about it just come back after some time and you hopefully it's not right now it's just they're having trouble but you have the badges available to you uh, transcripts you can also look at but transcript is also not going to give you the detail that you want but what it is it's going to tell you uh, what exam you did and you can again you can uh, download this as a pdf you can share this you can email it to yourself like if we download it if we click on it it just has all the information about all the exams that i have uh, taken uh, through microsoft and it's also giving me how it's valid till how long like the most of the exam you will see they're valid for a couple of years and some exam exams there is no expiration date on it okay but this is still not the place, but this is still useful, but not what we want. So let's just go back one more time over here, go back to home. And now I want to, I want you guys to pay very close attention to. So here 
you have one box it doesn't look like you have the information here right the exam provider uh, but if you click on here uh, you have the Pearson view and PSI and the Pearson view is the provider that I used most part so I want to click on that one and hit go okay so it's gonna take me and tell me how many exams I have scheduled through Pearson view and what's the status of those exams okay so now it's now being uh, transferred to the Pearson view side to complete your transaction so although this is uh, what happened yeah it's over here so if it took me and if you look at uh, my screen it's now uh, it's a uh, SSO so although I logged into Microsoft now I'm on a Pearson view website and here it's just telling me here the two exams that are coming up and here uh, you have the exam history you can go there and uh, here what exams that I took recently and uh, the other thing that you can go uh, go back to uh, go back one more page and uh, exam uh, view the score report this is the one that will have you all the details of your score so if you click on this particular link now so this this is the exam that I have uh, taken the uh, very last time and I can click on the view and this one should bring up the report uh, that I have so this is telling me that I did pretty good for this exam I scored uh, 914 for that exam and for the most part I did very well in all four sections of this exam so I feel pretty good about the data uh, data, data fundamentals and my knowledge about it and this is the area where you can kind of look at uh, what uh, if, if I compare with the other uh, uh, exam takers where I stand right now they're saying describe code data concept it's comparable so most people know about what i know uh, describe how to work with the relational data seems like i know a little bit more or i did a little bit better than most people and same way describe how to work with the non-relational that i did a little bit better and uh, describe on azure analytics uh, workload i did fairly okay so that's about it uh, so now you can download this and uh, use it uh, for the next exam if you especially if you didn't pass you can use this information to uh, prepare yourself for the next exam all right that's all I wanted to share in this uh, video uh, enjoy and uh, hopefully if you like it uh, give me a like uh, subscribe and share this information with your friends so they know how to download this stuff thank you